Well, thousands of old homes and businesses have been demolished here in Detroit, but now there's a project giving new life to these old spots. Some Detroit neighborhoods are coming together for this very unique transformation, and our Jamie Edmonds has more on the story. You've heard of urban farming in Detroit. Well, this is a perfect example right here in the Brightmoor community. Now, a group of these local farmers are taking this a step further. This greenhouse is where neighbors of the Brightmoor community can come and grow produce. And this, this one day can be where they can come and sell it. And this is a sink we're going to be installing where you can wash, process, dry, and move it right here to our walk-in coolers where we can store it to sell at our farmer's market on Fridays. Lisa Rivera and Jennifer Murgos are members of the group Neighbors Building Brightmoor and local farmers themselves. They have a vision for this once abandoned building on Fenkel Avenue. This is our community kitchen, food hub, um, hope to empower local agriculturally based entrepreneurs to financial success. The group acquired this space last year via auction from the city. The plan is to turn it into a space to meet and sell produce and locally made items. In the background here is the commercial kitchen. When we purchased the building, we got a walk-in freezer, two coolers, which make this entire idea possible. The city has torn down nearly 200 structures in this neighborhood alone, and farms have popped up in their place. Stephanie Young works with the city's Department of Neighborhoods. So what's really great about what's happening here is the opportunity to uh, encourage our growers to take the next step. And so with the demolitions of the properties throughout Brightmoor, it's given them an opportunity to have more land to grow on. Right now the group is remodeling and trying to raise funds online. But once it's all done, talk about farm to kitchen to table right in the heart of Detroit. So the plan is to raise the final $30,000 so they can open these doors in the next year or so. Once open, they have even bigger plans to teach people about healthy eating. About right here, they're going to host some classes. In the Brightmore community, Jamie Edmonds, Local 4. All right, also growing some very good ideas there. Thank you, Jamie.